Okay, I, I built a little bit of a jury rigged support for the uh, clay while I'm working on it. I have to do it at an angle so I can see what the heck I'm working on. And uh, now on the other side, these feathers would overlap each other going down. Well, on this side, they don't overlap. They go under each feather. So I've got to uh, change that. I've spent more time today getting ready to sculpt today than actually going to be doing sculpting. But that's the way it happens sometimes. Time to play with some clay. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, that looks good. I hope this holds together. I just barely glued it with these supports so I could keep it at a certain angle here. Okay, now it's a matter of putting the secondary or whatever they call these feathers, these uh, smaller feathers on the back of the wing. Now, I don't have to go quite as far because it's going to be covered up by the body of the uh, warrior. So, but I want to get at least something sketched in. Well, it's hard to see it, isn't it? Okay. Okay, I just want to see how much of this shows up. I gotta move all this crap out of the way. Okay, that works. Yeah, now I do the front of it. I gotta tell you, this is the first time I've done wings. And I don't know if I'm screwing it up or not, but it looks okay for now. I may change my mind though as, as time goes by. What I do is I roll out clay and then I just thin it out on the upper edge so it looks more like feathers. And, uh, and I blend it in.
I'm just going by this illustration of the inside of the wing. Now you can see why I made a elevated angled support for the uh, work I'm working on right here. Just so that I can see what the heck I'm doing. These are the finer feathers up here, looks like. I'm not sure how I'm going to do the uh, texturing on these. Maybe just the way I'm doing it right now. That's a little lighter that I got, an electronic lighter off of uh, Amazon. Really handy. It recharges so you don't ever have to get another lighter or anything like that. I'm just cleaning up the uh, tool. I've got a couple of tools I want to try texturing with. This one's a uh, tool from Ken's Tools. And it's got uh, piano wire, which gives it a certain texture. Now this tool is a serrated edged tool, which might be good for other texture. I don't know if I want to put that much detail in, but I'm going to see what I can do with it. Anyway, I got this tool uh, from uh, Sculpture Depot. Net. I'm going to try this one here. I don't want to overdo the texturing. Not sure I like that. Let me try the other tool. Okay, that works better. I'm just going to lightly go over the clay. Now, mind you, I'm doing this for the first time, so I'm just experimenting right, right the, now. Uh, wing attached. And, uh... Going to make it more permanent on the, uh... Body of the, uh... Eagle. I haven't done his head yet. I haven't really done his body yet. But... I'm getting there and I'll have to work on the body tomorrow but I'm gonna work on that other wing first I got the other wing right over here and I'm gonna put that wing like that for now I think that's gonna work out fine and uh, what they'll have to do at the foundry is maybe cut the wing 
off so they can make a cast of this separate and then weld it back on. So anyway, that's the way it's working out. I think that wing turned out good there. And it looks good from the other side, too. I didn't have to worry about a lot of detail on that, uh, on this side, but I wanted to get something there that uh, at least made it look like a wing. All right, good night, everybody. I hope you uh, got something from this, and I'll see you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.